Hey everyone, Technometry here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the no service problem on your iPhone. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is pull down or pull up the control menu, put your phone on airplane mode briefly, and then turn it off. And that does a quick network refresh. The next thing to try is to just move a little bit away from the area you're currently in. Sometimes that might not have coverage or a dead zone, and it might be as simple fix as that. Now, if it's still not fixed, the next thing to check is if there's a carrier update. In order to check that, you're going to go into your setting on your iPhone, go to General, and then click on About. When you're on this page and you wait about 5 to 10 seconds, there should be a menu that pops up that says Carrier Update Available. If there is one, you're just going to click on Update, which is different from a software update. Now, if there isn't a pop-up that comes out, that's fine. We're going to move on to the next set. Here's next uh, troubleshooting step, which is going to be going back into main settings and then going to general and then scroll down under transfer or reset iPhone, tap on that, click on reset and you want to do a network reset and go ahead and put in your phone's passcode and the network reset will reset all the network settings like Bluetooth connected devices, uh, Wi-Fi that you connected to, which you can reconnect again, but it will not delete any of your data, so all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe you don't have to worry about that now if it's still not fixed the next thing to do is to follow this step you're going to quickly press and release the volume up volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the apple logo appears so i'll do volume up volume down very quickly and then i hold on to the side button so just keep on holding on to that side button just like that and we're going to wait for the screen to go completely black and then the Apple logo to appear before we let go of that side button. And then you let go of that side button, which means the phone basically shuts down and then reloads the code, which is going to be a way to fix any software-related issue that may be impacting your phone from getting no service on your cellular. So let's wait for it to turn on. Again, this method will not delete any of your data, like your photos, videos, apps. Everything will still be on your phone. If it doesn't work the very first time, keep on trying it. This method does work. Just quickly press the volume up, volume down, and then hold on to that slide button. Now, if you're still getting the issue is that it's still not working, if you happen to have a physical SIM card, which is going to be on your either left or the right side, you want to take it out and put it back in. This phone, it doesn't have a physical SIM card because it is an eSIM, but that's going to be the next thing to do. Uh, and then if you're still having issues, the next thing to do is go to your phone settings, go to general, software update and check if there's an update available. Sometimes a previous update might have caused issues and a new update release is available. You want to go ahead and update your phone as well. For this, you might need to connect to Wi-Fi because, of course, if you don't have cellular data, you'll not be able to connect to internet with that no service. Now, if you tried all of these and you simply can't get it to work, you want to contact your phone carrier or the company get you a phone service from just to make sure your account standing isn't good. It's not uh, deactivated or your account is in in a bad uh, position where you don't have service and then ask them to see if they can also help push out a fix or an update that they can do on their end and generally by then they should be able to help you troubleshoot and fix your issue and I hope this video was helpful if so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone we'll see you guys next time